I told you 10 years ago, most people I knew who had two, three degrees were bagging groceries. Oh, and I was the bad guy that didn't want you to have an education. No, it doesn't work. You go for a six, eight year engineering degree, they're going to take your job with somebody from China or India. Not that they're bad wanting jobs there either. It's the way the globalists have set it up. Okay? And now you got millions of mad people who can't pay off their student loans. You got the Department of Justice SWAT team rating people that haven't paid their bill when it's not even a criminal issue. It's a civil issue to intimidate people, but it's not criminal to not take shots and they're arresting people. It's a pack of crooks. It's not criminal to not take the guard shill. But uh, that piece of garbage Rick Perry said it was. <clears throat> now listen, the controlled right wing, Limbo and, and Beck and all of them who supported the banker bailout, who support the new VAT taxes on top of all this stuff to, quote, pay off our debt, they're going to keep the income tax. They're going to tell you Wall Street's perfect. They're going to mix mom and pops and small Wall Street penny stocks in with the big mega banks. It isn't Wall Street's good and, and, and uh, you know, everybody else is bad on the left. Or is it everybody on the left is good and Wall Street's bad? Wall Street is just a name of a stock trading area. We're going directly with, with people with names. The Federal Reserve of Dallas, the Federal Reserve of Houston, the Federal Reserve of San Antonio, and I would go more places, but I've got to do the nightly news. I've got to do the daily three-hour radio show. You in your town, next Friday, next Saturday, and next Sunday, you need to get together in groups organize it, or if you don't know anybody, go to meetups, whatever. We'll create lists throughout the week at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com, and you get out there, and we need to identify the real enemies. Now, I haven't talked for 30 minutes to uh, home base there in Austin, kind of our Houston or our Cape Canaveral, while well, I'm out here floating around in the middle of nowhere. Uh, guys, give me a check. Everything's still good on the Skype here? Oh, I see Richard's over there right now. Uh, Richard, you want to come over here and say a few things before I collect myself and, and just kind of, I need to get Aaron Dykes. I need to get, uh, I'm running out of editors. I need to get uh, uh, Rob Dew or somebody to kind of take this whole rant here and kind of boil it down to five minutes to make the succinct points. But uh, Richard, uh, you want to jump in here uh, and, uh, and uh, sit around here, buddy. You want to jump in here? And uh, say anything to folks about basically you've been, uh, you've been hearing me rant for 35 minutes about the takeaway that you've gotten from what I've said. Do you agree? What do you think of the spontaneous ideas that I just literally, I mean, I was already saying we've got to protest and we've got to fight them. But it's so simple, Richard. We've got to actually go after the six mega banks. They're trying, they use socialism to do this at the grassroots and corporate welfare. They're trying to scapegoat our entire system to use government to steal even more of our money. They use the crimes they've committed as the pretext to take over society and get even more power and shut down what's left of their competition. Well, it's the classic old problem, reaction, solution that they always use. And I do like the ideas. I like the ideas especially about getting out there on Friday and going to the Federal Reserve in, in Dallas and uh, going to Houston on Saturday morning and San Antonio uh, uh, at the Federal Reserve there. That's going to be real exciting to see that. And it's going to be exciting to meet with uh, a lot of the info, fellow info warriors. And I think that they are really going to be pumped up about the new plan. And again, we're not going to let George Soros just sit there and hijack the anger and say it's Wall Street and capitalism. And their answer is pay okay. trillions more in the general public's money to offshore mega banks who openly finance communism as a way to rob the public. It's real simple. They're going to use the anger to bring in their full revolution of tyranny. That's what Homeland Security and all of it's about. Get it through your heads. We cannot let the dirty little commies funded by Soros and the rest of them, run around and take over the revolution of in the Fed and going after the globalists that we started, just like the Republicans tried to co-opt the damn Tea Party. Well, and they're not going to succeed at, in these runs against us because we're going to get out there and we're going to fight and more and more people. This movement is way bigger than it was during the 07, 08 election cycle. And just like the Republicans tried to co-opt the Tea Party, we're not going to let them. Exactly. We're not going to let them. And folks out there, uh, it's going to be very exciting to meet with all the info warriors all around the country as we travel to all the different venues here in Texas and beyond. I'm getting fired up here. You know, it's always like this. People think I spontaneously know what's going to happen in the future and stuff, Richard, because I just suddenly, you know, think of it. No, 
with something new. I knew these protests were coming. I knew a Soros color revolution was going to be their answer. I mean, Ron Paul, back in McKinney Ruffs, eight years ago, it's in the Matrix of Evil. He said, they're going to implode things. The banks are going to use this Glass-Steagall and stuff. He actually talked about it all. And derivatives implode everything and hold everybody hostage. It's at that juncture that they'll try to offer more socialism again, at, at the grassroots that's transferred in corporate fascism offshore. I always get these idiots sending me emails going, you don't understand fascism and socialism are two different things. That's what you're taught in your textbooks. But I actually read the CIA declassified Carol Quigley documents like Tragedy and Hope. He explains, no, they give you two false choices like grape and cherry Kool-Aid. They both have cyanide. It's still the same stuff. Okay, so they use socialism at the grassroots to consolidate and get us dependent. Then that's transferred offshore to the mega elite that are exempt from their own rules. I don't know how else I get this across to you out there. You need to grow up and get it. The problem is not some free market person that owns a hotel or a restaurant or who owns a, a place making diamond gusset jeans or somebody like me, a grassroots filmmaker who hires 30 something people. The problem is insider globalists waging war against the true free market and blaming the free market and our free society on everything that's going on and happening. It's so elementary, it's so simple. Richard, anything else? Well, there's one thing that the powers of be still control, and that's the mainstream media. That's one of the few avenues that they are still able to control the masses. But more and more and more, the alternative media, like you with InfoWars and all the other great activists, are going to relegate the mainstream media they're going to still be there, but they'll be like the sideline, sideshow, freak show at the circus or whatever that people can still get to watch a little bit of it just to have a flavor of it. But the alternative news is going to relegate all that mainstream news garbage to the wayside. All right, buddy. I'm going to go about 10 more minutes, and then because um, when we turn the AC off and the sucker starts getting hot, I'm going to go about it's, it's too loud if I turn that on. So um, I'm going to uh, finish up here. <sighs> try to compose myself because I've basically just been brainstorming here on air. See, I, I'm going to be honest. I'd interviewed some guests that have been down there. I'd gotten the intel and Tarpley, who everybody knows is, is he won't call it a socialist. He calls himself, uh, you know, a true American system person who believes in free credit and capital investment by government. Uh, regardless, he's a great historian, but you, people out there know this is not some right winger. And he did the research and said, there's no doubt this is George Soros. And since then, I did some more research. And last night and this morning, I did a lot of research. And man, when I watched the protest all over the country being given media attention, and I saw the slogans being the same, and I saw that the organizations are connected to the Democratic Party. Listen, it's just like people uh, electing Obama thinking he would fix things. McCain wasn't gonna fix things either. They're all bought and paid for by the same interest. More banker bailouts, more stimulus to select insiders, more taxes to shut down their competition. Uh, th these are monopoly men and they know there's anger to what they're doing and so they know that the, that that we've reached a revolution point in this country and they can't have it being led by in the fetters and people that want to get rid of the new world order that's why the federal reserve has now announced they're spying on their opposition making enemies list and you notice right as that happens they come out with their controlled opposition that just calls for socialism and communism and raising taxes on the rich because the globalists are in Switzerland and Luxembourg and other areas in Monte Carlo. They're all exempt. You notice all of Obama's big contributors, Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, General Electric, you read where they pay zero tax. They get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, sometimes just trillions of dollars of bailout. And then they make hundreds and hundreds of billions per company in bonuses. And then they're the very ones, go research, the number one funders of carbon taxes, the number one funders of all of this. It's, it's, it's Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Citigroup, Bank of England, um, Dutch Royal Shell, Exxon Mobil, BP. And then I get these emails going, you work for oil companies because you're, you're, you're against carbon taxes. What does a carbon tax do on what do carbon taxes do on companies in America? It shuts them down. And then the globalists move to China. Aaron Dykes just sent us a message. Many protesters, Boston Fed, chant in the Fed, F the Fed. Yeah, it's already begun. People, listen, months ago, we had, you know, we had calls for people to protest the Fed in New York, and they had the cops already waiting for them when we got there. So what happened is they saw the in the Fed protest. That's the point I meant to make. Thank you for reminding me, Richard is that there's already protests of the Fed and it's being ignored by the corporate whore media, but we have the alternative media now. 
There it is. Uh, more than 700 arrested in Wall Street protests, dozens cupped in Boston after targeting Bank of America. Protests spread across USA, Los Angeles, Chicago, Denver, Seattle. You know, I'm tempted, Richard, to go ahead and have Aaron Dykes do the nightly news and just go ahead and get back and start hitting the road now and going ahead and just going all over the country and hitting different feds and protesting them and doing the show right here from the RV. We can start. We're going to see what happens. But again, the mainstream corporate horror media is only trying to focus on people saying down with capitalism, down with the free market, not down with elite corporations being exempt from their own taxes and taking the middle class's money, down with the mega banks lobbying for VAT and other sales taxes to, quote, pay off the debt we owe when it's 1.5 quadrillion of garbage they created that we don't owe. <clears throat> They've done this in Greece. They've done this in Ireland. They didn't get away with it in Iceland. This is a total bamboozling. So let me announce it again. Here's the big announcement. Occupy the Fed protest. Occupy the banksters. Occupy the insiders. Go after the real threat. Don't, don't let them scapegoat the free market. Don't let them blame our republic. Don't let them get away with this. Obama got financed by Goldman Sachs. Four times the money McCain got because he was their golden boy who could sell the propaganda. Now they got Rick Perry and all these other fellow reserve people and Herman Cain. But again, the Republicans knew the Tea Party was going to destroy them, so they tried to co-opt it, but they failed. Rick Perry tried to become Ron Paul. Herman Cain tried to become Ron Paul. But as their records come out, it's over for them. Now, I want to be clear. The mainstream media from day one has not been covering the in-the-Fed protest because it actually goes to the oligarchs, to the insiders, to the people that are above the law. We are not just going to go around and, and, and protest capitalism. We're going to point out we're protesting insider crony monopoly people. It's not even crony capitalism. <clears throat> this is insiders hijacking our financial system. George Soros, Michael Moore, Warren Buffett are all lobbying for higher taxes to, quote, get the rich guys. But when you read the legislation being brought forward by them, it's targeting middle class people, not the ultra rich. I just say, we don't owe all this money, these tens of trillions of dollars. Let Wall Street take a haircut. Then they'll try to hold us financially hostage and say there's going to be martial law, blood in the streets, just like they did three and a half years ago here, or just like they just recently did in Europe, and holding everybody hostage. Now they're announcing a financial dictatorship over Europe. They've announced a financial dictatorship. That's the words. Over Europe, run by private banks. Think of the magnitude. And now they're going to do that here. they got a super Congress in place to control uh, the new legislation so that regular members of the House can't bring forward the spending bills. Do you see how they're setting this up? Do you see how they're getting us ready? They're setting up a bureaucracy of unelected rulers controlled by private central banks over Europe. They've got a super Congress, uh, 12 tyrants with the president as the 13th. All of it coming to a head now, and now they've unleashed all the angry college students who mean well, going socialism, down with capitalism, Michael Moore. Hundreds of millions of dollars, huge insider, waddling around going, capitalism's the problem. This isn't capitalism. Government allowed these mega banks to do this and to get our tax money. They would have just gone bankrupt. But instead, they allowed them to say, too big to fail and tie it to us. Tie that ball and chain, that millstone around our necks. <clears throat> We've seen endless slogans out of these people. You think the bankers were going to implode economies? Listen to me carefully. Did you think the bankers were going to implode economies and bring in all this tyranny and somehow get us to sign on to $1,500 trillion?